throw back. Thursday. Like I said before, it's very important for me to be able to show you a little bit about myself, to give you a little bit back. This is who I am. I wanna get the same thing from you, so feel free to write in the description below. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Tell me a little bit about what you do. Tell me a little bit about what you enjoy, your hobbies, because this is what this has to be, like I said last time, right? I mean, this has to be a community for us all. The movies that I enjoy the most are called hangout movies. Movies that are basically, you hang out with the characters. You enjoy their company, right? Sometimes the story doesn't necessarily mean that much. It's really the characters, and a lot of my films, all of my films, are about characters. That's what this YouTube community is. It's about hanging out with people that you enjoy their personality, you enjoy listening to what they're passionate about, even though you may not be as passionate about some things more than others, but it's kind of like a friendship, right? This is about the aspiring filmmaker, because seven years ago, I made my first feature film called Transatlantic Coffee, and it was a struggle from beginning to end. It's amazing how far I have come in seven years. I've been through the process. I produce the films. I write the films. I direct the films. And then I go shop the films and get them sold and distributed. This is a very, very hard business. It is so easy to quit. So that's what brings us to Transatlantic Coffee, which was filmed in 2010. Now this film had basically no budget. We bought this terrible, used, broken down van that we called Papa Smurf because it was a blue Smurf color. Everything was wrong. Tires were blown out. It, it just stalled everywhere. Everything that we needed to make the movie was in that van. Camera, props, set dressing, grip equipment, lighting, everything was in this van. This tiny little blue Papa Smurf van. One time we were driving and the mirrors flew off because we hit something. I mean, the thing was a disaster. And my friend who's in this video, Clifton, this guy made me laugh. He kept on saying, Eric, laugh. You're gonna be laughing at this years from now because this is what makes filmmaking filmmaking. That's one story of so many stories. So now I want you to watch a throwback to, I think it was 2011. One of the festivals that we were at was the New Filmmakers of New York, and they did an interview with me. That's this interview, so enjoy. Eric Peter Carlson, and the film is Transatlantic Coffee. Um, the film, we I originally wrote it uh, back in 2000, uh, to early 2002, which is when the film takes place, which is where when it's set. So it's been quite some time. I think the uh, I don't know if it's been inspiration, but a lot of people asked, you know, where you were inspired um, by the story of Transatlantic, and uh, the only thing I can come up with is is that there was a documentary I did when I was a kid, really, um, that it was, you know, it was done on grainy VHS, or actually it was high 8 uh, stuff that I did. It was about a guy who was released, recently released from a mental institution. Um, and I followed him for a day or two. What I was thinking the documentary was going to be about originally was going to be uh, basically just about him and how he lives, what he, what he does during the day. And when I found out, it was more of a how society uh, looked at uh, this individual, uh, which was very, uh, it was an eye-opening experience. So I think it was like a year later, I started writing uh, like just like a narrative, uh, not about that, but I think somewhere on a subconscious level, I was inspired by a few different things from that experience. So that's the only thing I can really, you know, when people ask me, well, how, you know, where did you come up with this story? That's the only thing I can really think of is, is that in pieces. But, um, but you know, I don't think you should really, I don't think you should really know where uh, these ideas come from when you're right. Because I think if you do know, then you're probably doing something wrong. That's I'm what I'm not that person. I don't think that way. You promise. I promise. You're not like her. Nothing like her. What? 
<laughs> so when I was writing Transatlantic, I really wanted to make it a, a big, you know, deep character study on this one character. Um, and there's some traits in there that got this came out, you know, I mean, um, the character in Transatlantic, Alex Howard, you know, it's a romance picture. I always thought it was a romance picture, but he had the, a loved one who he lost. Uh, so it's really a romance picture where you don't really see the romance because it was a romance, um, you know, from the from another time. So I found that was interesting. It was a different approach about it. Rather than seeing a relationship uh, form, this was more of a, a relationship that has already, you know, been, you know, started and then ended uh, by the loss of her. So there you have it. That was the interview. As you can tell, I looked very tired uh, after making that movie. I was very, very exhausted, like any movie. But uh, before I, I go, I do want to say to the filmmakers who are either in film school uh, or, or maybe not even in film school, but there's certain things you can't teach in film school. It's the drive, it's the motivation, it's how to deal with the rejection. You have to find a way to struggle and battle through that because I guarantee you, it's happened to me, it's happened to me, trust me. Trust me when I say this. You have to keep fighting. All it takes is that one investor, and that investor is not investing in your movie. Understand that. He is not investing in your movie. He's investing in you. You will get there. It takes time. I wish you all the luck. If there's anything I can do to help, please leave a comment down below. Anything I can answer, I'll be happy to answer. Thanks so much, and again, if you want to see my film, my first film, Transatlantic Coffee, you can see it. It is in the description below. I'll leave the links. Thank you so much. I'll see you next Thursday for the third Throwback Thursday episode.